G'day everybody, welcome back to Photo Australia. It's been a while, Grant. Hey folks, we're back. <laughs> we're still here. It has been a while, hasn't it, Brad? It has, it has. Yeah. I'm finding strange things firing up the studio for, <laughs> for I don't know, what a year and a half or whatever it is that uh, things are not working like all technology things. Exactly. We had to, <laughs> we had to chase the uh, cobwebs out and the spiders out. And the updates. <laughs> and, oh, well, the and the snakes. And the snakes, yeah. Snakes are a bit of a... Oh, God, there's another one. Um, yeah. if, you see, if you see something slivering along the screen. <laughs> yeah, right. you, hear a, you hear a yelp and hear uh, footsteps. That's me heading for the door. Uh, oh, dear geez. me. Yes, well, folks, we, we, we do apologise for not keeping up with this, but... And my camera's changed because the one that I normally use, that's not working for some reason, so I'm using my phone. <laughs> well, how much time have you had to fix that up? Oh, probably a couple of days, but I haven't done anything <laughs> about it. <laughs> oh, dear. Yes. We will get by for the moment until we, we get, get we things will. up and running again. And life has sort of intervened a bit with us in the interim, but look, that's fine. We're here, folks, and um, we're back to have a bit of a chat about a few things, a bit of fun. And uh, what we've got here is an image that um, was taken. This is actually standing in Maine, and we're apparently, they tell us, we were looking into Canada. I probably should bring up the before and after because off screen, um, that's not the before and after. Hang on. Off screen, oh, I've been mucking around with this. Get back onto one photo. Even light, isn't it funny? All, all the software, everything's just changed. It's life, mate. And that's still not giving Period. me the before and after. No. <laughs> Might be because I'm not in develop. Do you have to go reset or something? No, shouldn't have to. Okay. Um, right, there you go, before and after. Oh, let's grab two photos again. So while Brad's talking, uh, uh, doing that, um, yeah, we were, this is on our um, camera club trip to the United States in 2018. And after we spent a few weeks wandering around in this, the great South. There it is. That's the one we want. <laughs> we've got that many versions of it because we've been exporting it everywhere. I was on the wrong one. There we go. So we, in early October... We um, left um, Las Vegas and, uh, and uh, we flew over to Hartford in Connecticut and uh, picked up our hire cars and then we drove up north and ended up in Maine. What a beautiful state Maine is, it's just an incredible place. And we ended up on this mountain on this evening and do you remember how cold that was, Brad? I was freezing. I still remember that there was this crazy guy that was jumping around. I'm sure it was more than just alcohol that he was drinking. I don't know. I don't know. It was some yank that was there. And um, uh, I don't know. You remember him, do you, Grant? Yeah, there was it's... two of them down a bit lower, weren't they? Because we were up in the car park. And then there was a second <laughs> level sort of to the viewpoint. And, yeah, I do remember him. He was a bit strange. He was he was jumping up and down. He was um, it was like that. We were long long time friends, and um, yeah, he yeah. was they're basically saying, "Oh, there you go, mate," and yeah. all of this, all of this stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, trying to be Australian. But it was um, well, it was one way to keep warm, wasn't it? Oh, not <laughs> to oh, running around, jumping around. Folks, but yeah, it was so cold. I mean, I can sort of handle the cold a bit, but this was like this was just bitterly bloody cold and there was just enough breeze that was not going around you it was going straight through you mm, mm. So i remember getting back in the car and absolutely shivering so anyway it was a great sunset though beautiful, um beautiful, beautiful as spot. um the photo on the left the before that's a raw shot that grant had taken and the shot on the right is what we were seeing on that night it was just the sun had just gone down and um, it just still had that wonderful colours that just shone through the sky. And um, uh, so on the right is the processed uh, version that um, reflects more of what 
we saw when we were there. Yep. And uh, Brad has done this um, in Lightroom. And uh, what we thought we would do for our little welcome back video, will be a fairly short one, um, is we would have a look at Topaz Photo AI. Now, this is a relatively new product that Topaz have released. And we're going to open this up in um, Topaz Photo AI. So, um, yeah, last time I played around with Topaz, they had it all split into different um, versions of the software as it's showing up on the screen with their... They had separate denoise and um, sharpen and uh, gigapixel. They've rolled that, I believe... Um, I've got to catch up with it. I've been away from photography for a little bit too. I believe they've rolled it all into one software, Those a lot of those different ones. Is that correct, Grant? Yeah, this they released this probably maybe a year ago a bit less perhaps yep and it's i think it's had a few problems and i don't want to bag topaz i think they're a fabulous company but um i, I just noticed i got onto it fairly quickly um and uh there's a hell of a lot of updates coming through with it every every time i log on there's another version is released so obviously they're they're, they're watching it closely and they're doing updates as they become apparent. But it's, yeah, it's essentially rolling a lot of the tools that um, are in the individual programs, as far as I can ascertain, into this one uh, uh, program to make it simpler and easier to use. And I must admit, I've, Topaz puzzles me a little bit sometimes because you go into Topaz Sharpen um, and you get a sharpening slider and a denoise slider, which it sets if you let it choose its, its setting, it does its automatic settings. And then if you go into Topaz Denoise, it gives you a denoise slider and a sharpening slider. So I've sort of always wondered, well, what is it actually doing? And yet both seem to behave just a little bit differently. So this one, I think is an attempt to roll that all in. But this one's got another interesting feature. The, the autopilot's quite interesting. So um, for one, I, I've got to um, commend Topaz for um, updating the performance of their software. So um, we just went back to their older version and it always was a bit slow in updating. And I thought, why on earth would it be so slow? Because this computer that we've got here is quite a powerhouse. But it is, um, it's got a lot of um, processing cores and it's got um, twin graphics cards with same thing again. So it's got a lot of performance, but a lot of software don't, doesn't utilise the performance of the machine. So they might only use a couple of cores. I won't go into computing too much, but um, I've noticed that this new software is utilising a heck of a lot more of, of the computer's ability and now the um, the previews, I can move it around, and it's quite fast in updating, yeah. isn't it, Grant? Oh, very fast. So the performance, yeah. I'm glad that it's utilising the computer a lot more mm. um, compared to the old software, which you know you'd have to wait two, three seconds yep. uh, before it updates. Whereas now it's nearly not quite instant, but it's very close. Yep. And yeah, so we're we're still playing with this, folks. So you'll have to bear with us a bit. But you can see how quick. I, I can move, and I've got two on at the moment. I've got, um, oh, getting back to the autopilot. Sorry, I got sidetracked with the performance. So um, um, 10 out of 10 for updating your performance, Topaz. That's fantastic. Um, but um, the autopilot's an interesting um, bit of kit that they got there. So it analyzes the photo, and it then applies on the right here, it's got, uh, I guess the various software that they used to have broken down as far as sharpen or remove noise, um, it will detect it and it will apply the amount and what it thinks that it uh, needs to do to the photo without you doing anything, which is quite interesting. It is. And Brad, just quickly, if you go up to, uh, on, the, on the top left, to, um, I think it's view, uh, no, go to account. Um, okay, edit, sorry. <laughs> Preferences. <coughs> oh, <I'm> <coughs> You're right there, Grant? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might be one of those dust bunnies that's... Uh... <laughs> must be, must be. 
So we need um, a cleaner. <laughs> yeah. So in here, it gives you a couple of um, interesting little um, things you can set too to be doing. So um, yeah. So there's a few um, uh, options that you can do for the autopilot, um, as well as um, just your normal general options. So in your like in your processor there, you can either leave it on auto or you can tell it what which one to use. So, yeah, so um, they've enabled basically that it doesn't have to be a graphics card. So I guess it depends on your computer a little bit of, um, you know, your performance. Your Some computers, your processor might be the best to um, for it to utilise that or even your graphics card. So I guess they've got that option there now that you can choose either or, um, depending on what works best for you. Or auto, which I leave it on auto because um, uh, the computer's yep. yeah fine yep. on either or this one. Um, so it will then um, select um, what it it thinks is the best performance. Yep. Okay. And the masking, it gives you a masking uh, facility well, it, now too. It does show um, um, what it's masking. And applying the filter to, which is quite interesting too. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it's quite interesting what they've done. Mm. Yep. And you still have your manual control. Um, we were looking at this photo, and um, I think it was wanting to sharpen, if I remember rightly. And that's what that's it's correct. That's yep. what it's on at the moment. But um, I felt that it was probably sharpening a little too strong. So um, I can actually bring the strength of its sharpening back a little bit. Um, it's just that it, the light was starting to bounce around a little bit in the yep. branches and um, there was just a little bit of over sharpening. So we've act you can actually just bring it back just with a slider, which yep. is similar to their old software. Um, and um, yeah, looks pretty good. Yeah. And I like the fact they give you, give you the little marker there as to where it was set. I yes, mean, you know so it, it shows you what it, what it thinks. So it's got a little green line there, which yep. that's yep. quite handy. So. Yep. Yep. There's a couple of little updates that they've done on it, and I think they've done a pretty darn good job, right? Yeah, yeah. I think I'll be um, using it a bit more, and no doubt there'll be a lot more tucked away in the background here that we that we haven't even found yet. Mm, I'd but, um, I'd like to um, uh, throw a few nature photos at yeah, it mm, mm. Um, and see what it can do far as sharpening, yeah. because that's usually a good test oh, is uh, yeah. throwing a um, a um, nature photo at it and seeing what kind of detail it can pull out of a photo that's not quite sharp. Yep. yep. Um, but Brad, I'm going to get a jacket because I'm feeling cold just, just looking at it. <laughs> funny how a picture can, can bring back a memory, isn't it? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. There it so, is. Well, that's the whole whole idea, isn't it? Isn't it? Exactly. Is exactly. that, um, yeah. you know, you, you process your photos for when you were there mm. and um, it takes you back to that memory. So. Yep. Yep, excellent. Hmm. And then if we clicked on Enhance Resolution, Brad, what, what, what would that do to it? Again, the little bar on the left-hand side is thinking about it. Yep, well, it's doing the whole photo this yep. time. So right. um, normally you do a magnified area. That way it's yep. not processing the whole photo. So um, because this would be a fairly big photo file, I would think. Hmm. Yeah. Um, Especially, well, that's a TIFF, so that's yeah, well, it's pretty yeah, big. been converted to a TIFF, <laughs> but um, it's straight from yeah. his raw file. Yeah, uh, so we actually want to go in a bit closer so we can see what it's done. And if we go to there, as you can see, it very quick. it's back to being very quick and it's doing the sharpening and it's enhancing as well now. Yeah. So we're giving it more to think about, and it looks like it's pulled a lot more detail out of the trunk here. Yep. Yeah. When you when you look look here compared to here, mm, mm. Um, you can see a lot more detail, and that's actually not too bad. Yeah, no, I think that's very very usable. A uh, big difference in the just the sharpening of yeah. these um, the branches yeah. through here. Yeah. I actually quite like that. Yeah. Well, even the even the moon, yep. the moon's popping out. There's a little moon just behind yep. there, with limited, um, very minimal haloing and artifacts. Yeah, it's done a done a really now. good job. And it was a tricky shot because um, the sun, like those of you that have been to North America will appreciate when you're up at these altitudes, and I don't know what we would have been here, Brad, 
five or six thousand feet, I think. And they're in Maine, I'm not sure, but we're sort of fairly high most of that trip in altitude. Yep, yep, yep. Um, um, it, the, the atmosphere is different and things behave differently and um, your skies are a different colour. There's a lot of stuff going on in your photography that is different. So, um, yeah, this is this is interesting the way it's hand, handled this and the way it's uh, processed it. So, I'm impressed. Mm, mm. Oh, very good. Yeah, excellent. All right, well, we might leave this one just as a court little we short little short one of that we start having a look at the what the main updates to software is at the moment. I mean, Lightroom's changed a heck of a lot since we were recording last as well, and I'm sure all the software has changed a heck of a lot. Yep. Um, we will probably dive more into Topaz. Um, yep. I'd like to see some nature shots with something that's got plenty of light so we can really see what it's doing. Yep. Um, but um, we thought we would just make touch base with you guys and um, just let you know that uh, new software's coming out and we'll be reviewing it fairly soon. And we're back. We're back, folks. More, well, there'll be a lot more coming soon. Thanks, thanks for watching. Okay, bye-bye. Cheers.